Let's get the show started. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could have let me finish rolling up the shit. Not that it matters. So, it doesn't matter. That first three minutes is going to be bonus content. We back another week, another episode of BYOB, the podcast. I'm your host, Regular Ja. I go by the name of... I'm Kyle. Pikachu. Just fucking Kyle today. It's Pam. A.K.A. Lil Fatty. Lil Fatty. Even though she got a bit fatty. That part. That thing. You used to go crazy in the party when my fatty came on, too. I Between remember. that and walk a flock of no hands. <laughs> you used to put your hands it's in there. Oh, Lord. Listen, I used to act the fuck up to no hands. You couldn't tell me the shit. The wild but... shit is, Pam won't twerk, and she was in there rapping like a thug-ass nigga. In Especially... the fucking middle, I'm going to be there. And her ass just moved while and she And she used to say baloney extra hard when Rock was <laughs> <laughs> When he said upgrade from baloney, she used to say that shit. That was my shit. Like, you see the whole, hey. you know that line on the bottom of your tongue? You see the whole bottom line of her tongue when she say baloney. That's that how hard she used Listen, that's my shit. Don't let it come on to this day. I'm going to act up. No, I'm talking about she leaning her head back and all you see is the tongue. Baloney. <laughs> like, Pam, I, I love that. <laughs> You my type of motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> oh, y'all, we laugh. Say hey. On Instagram, say hey. We back, we yo, back, yo, we yo, back. Yo, yo, we outside, man. What up? Definitely outside. Even though no, it's we hot the fuck. fuck. Not outside We're right in now. AC. <laughs> We're in fucking AC because well, it's fucking hot. Look, this, that, this that kind of heat that make a nigga want to fight. Like, for real. You just be aggravated for no fucking you reason. You asking me the wrong question. Like, what? 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 What you want? Last year around this time, wasn't it cooler, though? I feel like they it was They keep cutting cooler. the trees and shit down. Mm-hmm. They gotta cut that shit out. No, that ass. That's part of the reason. They keep cutting all the trees and shit down. This shit is disrespectful. It's hot. It's hot as hell. Ride like, down the random street that you know a lot of trees used to be on the sidewalk. And then ride down yeah. that street like right now in 2023. I guarantee them trees is not there no more. That's Different crazy. Ball, That's fucking crazy. They chopping shit down. They gotta cut that out. Like they really they do. They worse than me in my early 20s. The way yeah, they, chop, the way they chopping shit, shit down. <laughs> knocking shit back. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god early 20s is a wild time my early 20s were hey. great man not the early 2020s this shit is trash <laughs> yeah no I don't know what y'all got going on here this shit is trash in 2023 y'all it's complete ass for me I'm sorry oh yeah this we shit. can definitely get through this year I'm ready it's 2024 <laughs> at this point yo fuck the 20s I'm gonna go back to the teens though cause one thing I appreciate the most is that I grew up in the era that I did and not this one these kids can't do shit mm. This technology fucked everything mm-hmm. up. That's a fact. Unless you got a parent that just don't really like you for like that, but ain't even no sneaking out. They got ring cameras and shit. You can't even Listen. sneak out. Listen. You can't even you sneak can't out the crib shit. like you used to. You can't car. Like, what? That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. You can't even sneak in the house. Not sneak out. Yeah, you no. can't sneak in the house. I learned how to drive a stick just to take the car Brittany said, to go get Kyle, some pussy. I don't like how he tapped out on my birthday. You tapped out? Whose birthday did I tap on? Oh, yeah, I did tap on Brittany's birthday. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought one of a bitch in your blood. I, definitely did. I, I didn't tap. I was just tired. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna front, though. Fatigue is, like, that shit is Yeah, different. it wasn't like I tapped out because I was drunk, drunk. I was just tired. That shit is different. Tired. Yeah. Especially when you get, like, tired, tired, and you take and, and you take wake up from a nap you didn't know you were taking. Like, that kind of shit. I mean, that's Ooh. what started to happen. I started to take an unknown nap, and I was like, yeah, let me just carry my ass home. <laughs> Them naps be so good, though. But yeah, man, so like growing up in this era as a teen, like not even the fact that you don't even get to do the the, the fun, wild shit that we did as teens. Like now you really got to like worry about your life and shit because these little niggas is out here laying shit the fuck That's down. That's a fact. That's wild. So it's like, oh, but like the, the, the worst that could have possibly happened to us in our teens is like you coming back from a shorty crib at 2 a.m. and some niggas. Niggas jump you. <laughs> like niggas might jump you in the hood. Like they take your shit. Mom was just or getting caught. You. If you fast, if you fast enough, enough, yeah. I'm not running. Y'all just gonna jump me. Yeah, this shit different. I'm counting first. Oh, yeah. I'm, hey. Don't worry. I'm gonna take my chances because I'm just, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm counting. I just know I'm not but fast enough to outrun a bunch of niggas. I'm not gonna. F- yeah, so what? Yeah. I'm definitely. If it's not a lot of y'all, bro, number one, the ass whooping is not gonna be that bad if it's, if it's a lot of y'all. Because all of y'all ain't gonna be able to You can't all hit me once. You can't all hit me once. They can, but it ain't gonna be like full power. Like, <laughs> them niggas ain't really gonna be able to curl up in a ball. Yeah. Sometimes that shit don't work. Yeah, I was at a football game and I seen him unball the nigga one time. That's Yo, crazy. you know. <laughs> I saw it too. Think Wait, it like how, how game. much do you gotta hate a nigga to, to, unball to not even him? let the nigga ball up when you stomp? Yo, I think they actually yelled unball the nigga. What? Yo, that ass. Like, yeah, we were. I think we were at the same football game. 
They yelled, unball that nigga. Oh. I think it was Green Run versus Salem, so it might have been. Yeah. No, I was like, oh, that's wild. No way. And you know what? You know what made me the happiest? Because I knew the niggas that was jumping them. Like, and I know what type time them niggas was on, and I knew what they did to niggas. I was so happy that I did not know that nigga, and I <laughs> and he want a nigga close to me because I would have had to wear that with him because I can't just let my nigga. You know not, what I'm saying? not a bald nigga. That's crazy. That's crazy as fuck. Like, can you imagine? Where's your, the gun? Imagine like, your <laughs> like, the yes. gun? Like, Imagine your man's getting jumped in the party and you don't know, but you get over there and then like you see these niggas unballing them. And you know you, and it's just y'all too. You got to go in there and help this nigga. You can't just the side. Like, Fuck that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Grab a weapon. So you gonna let your hunger get jumped if, yeah, if you see him? Yeah, lighter on you. I'm just gonna call the police. Uh, it's probably one in that bottom drawer if it's not one on this table nowhere. I'm just gonna call the police. The bottom drawer. On the desk. Oh, I know it's a secret. One. It's a secret compartment. I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the mute on that nigga. I don't know what's up with his mic. Every time that shit do that. Right. But yeah, like that shit. Um, it's 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 wild times. Like niggas can't you can't you can't do shit no more. It's like a gold and white one. That shit was came in like one of them big packs. Well, check on the top of the desk then, under the shot glasses. It got to be in here because I don't take that shit out of here for the sole purpose of that shit only being for here. Dang. I know I ain't dropping. I don't see it. <clears throat> Check on top of the desk. With them shot glasses. Matter of fact, you can bring those over here. Yeah. It's cool. Liquor. The liquor will get that right. Yeah, that's a, that's a motherfucking fact. <laughs> the, the Alcohol liquor, burn the, everything The, the, the liquor will get that right. Uh, I do not. Bring me my book bag, though. We still, we, we going to keep this rocking. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. So, we get into the topics and shit, though. But, yeah. So... Hey. But nah, yo, growing up, like, so was you a, um, was you a sneak in or a sneak out? Um, I did both, actually. I definitely did both. Like, I would go to my boyfriend's house, like, real late when my mom would be asleep, and then mm-hmm. I would come back, and she'd be knocked out all night <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, check the whip. My key's right there. But I would definitely, I would do both. I would sneak out and sneak in. I don't yeah. know if she knew because my mama a light ass sleeper. She probably just ain't say nothing. But yeah, uh, I didn't really didn't. Did get she in know you was that. fucking? Yeah. Yeah. So how she probably then? Was she cool with you fucking? No. Because a lot of parents um, they'll know, but they oh, not cool with their kids fucking. Okay, which, so I mean, nah, she wasn't parent, cool with it. Like we had be, to but. go. Like it was bad because I was sucking dick first. <laughs> That's, that's what you was one of, You was one of them? I did that first, and then I told on myself, and then I told on my cousin. Like, I was like, nigga, if I'm going what down. What you doing home? Hey, Ma, I suck some dick. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Hey, Ma. This, no, this is what happened. So, it was in Arizona. It's in the middle of the summer. Now, you suck a dick in the desert. I was hoarse. In the you middle was of the what? I was hoarse. Oh, I thought you said I was a whore. No, I wasn't a whore. No, no. No, I wasn't a whore. Nah, not even close. Nah, I didn't have nobody, so I had one body. No bodies when I was in high school. Just one. Just one. And then, um, oh, so when she was like, What's wrong with your voice? You were like, I was sucking some dick. I was like, I'm sick. And she was like, You ain't motherfucking sick. You don't get sick. And at that, I mean, I really didn't get sick. So I was like, Pamela. I'm like, Oh my God. So I had to like confess, like, Yeah, I did it. But then I was like, Well, my cousin did it too. And then we all got in trouble. So I ended up having to go to like these classes on the weekend where they sent us to this place where we were like supposed to be scared straight with like mm-hmm. young teen moms and. <laughs> All types of shit. Like, you don't want to end up like this. This shit ain't fun. So you got you got sent to scare straight because you was sucking dick. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. missed a lot. Girl. You missed yep. a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I definitely did. And I remember it was awful. Every fucking Saturday we had to go because I was doing that. And you know you what? Dick. That's crazy. Yeah, and I did. Yeah. Yo, I'm glad eating pussy didn't get you hemmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you eating pussy? Oh, you going to jail? You going to the scared straight program? You want to eat some pussy? It was, I mean, it, it was humbling, but right, I, bro, I still it's, 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 it's no convict in this motherfucking facility. But I ended up losing my virginity that's make after me that. Not want to eat no pussy no more. I like, am straight. <laughs> that's why I'm eating pussy, nigga. Facts. Dumb the monk old shit like that. Like Listen, that. I did not want to tell my cousin, but I'm like, she's sucking dick too. <laughs> like she, I sure did. I'm sorry, cousin. I won't say your name, but I'm sorry. You know, we all got in trouble for that shit. It was my fault. I should probably slow down. Okay. I got some shit going on, but yeah, oh. that was wild. Isn't that yeah. cut ball, like. But yeah, so I got scared, and then I ended up losing my virginity after that. So it really didn't help. 
it still made me do it. You went and scared straight and was like, oh, bet. And got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get pregnant. I didn't get pregnant until so I moved to Virginia. But. <laughs> you know how, like, on the, like when you watch Beyond Scared Straight, they got the kids that got them go and then, like, some I mean, of them it looks very humbling. get their life together and then some of them's like, he ended Not right me. back up. <laughs> Not me. Well, obviously you got pregnant, so I got pregnant after, not as a, not as a young teen, as an older teen. <laughs> you a so, fucking nut. Nigga. Like, <laughs> so what's, what what age did you have to go to stop sucking dick camp? Um, sixteen. Oh, and then I had my. I'm just glad you ain't say no wise. Like, I was thirteen. Stop no. sucking dick camp. Like you ain't even want. You ain't even want to see camp. if you was off the Barbies all the way yet. You just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, straight to dick. Now nah, sixteen is that's like, like that's about that age. Yeah. Fifteen, sixteen is like the the average time that yeah. teens kind of start experimenting and doing shit. Right. I was an early bloomer though. A lot, a lot of like men are like I. I just didn't want to. Yeah. So I was getting head in like seventh grade. No way. And. Pussy. Girls were sucking dick in seventh grade. The girls were sucking dick in sixth grade. grade. No way. In the schools I went to, it was definitely. Sucking Listen, dick in the first grade. time I did it, I was even like childish, and it was because my first. Yo, the shit that's Listen, so crazy. Like, so by the time shit. I got to seventh grade, like they was like pros. <laughs> like, yeah, they, like, like, seventh grade? grade? Yeah, that's a fact. No way, I was kissing in seventh grade. I like, was I kissing, kissing too, was, and I was getting my dick sucked. I, I just yeah. thought kissing was a thing, so I wasn't even doing none of that. Like I wasn't doing none. But it's crazy though, because back then it was like. It wasn't like Eric. It was like designated dick suckers, like back in the day. Yeah. What's that? They, like, like they was the ones. They were school. known like, for like sucking the dick. Like yo, mm-hmm. if you go holler at her, she suck dick. She with it. Wow. Yeah, all 16, this 17 year old women ain't suck girls ain't sucking dick. No, I was sucking like one dick. That's why jump offs were so frequent in high school because yeah, it was like have, a lot that. of girls won't fucking, but it was yeah, like I definitely wasn't why am I so goddamn hot? Maybe it was all that running around I just yeah. did. <laughs> so I just told her that earlier Because a lot won't fucking Which I mean At that yeah, time You probably supposed to be Focused on academics anyway But Yeah Fuck academics Then you got the ones That was like fucking in relationships You you know You won't get into them Yeah I'm And then like <coughs> Every school had the few yeah, hey. That was just that was like force. What you doing after school Whatever you want me to nigga <laughs> like, Sign me up No way Whatever you what, what they say Whatever is required <laughs> You know what <laughs> That's crazy. And then there's always some nigga that come along and wife the bitch. It, and it's usually the nigga that go last in the train, too. Man, nigga, I was just your <laughs> girlfriend. In the train. It's usually the nigga that go last in the train that wife her. You like, yo, this nigga ain't come back out yet. Like, it's been an hour, like, you come out, this nigga in there sleep. <laughs> like, you know. They you, go together now. You know what time it is. Like, That's him, wild, him and her in that motherfucker sleep. That's crazy. Man, what the fuck is going on right now? Can't cuff the zooms. Wow, the zooms. What's a zoom? That's what you call them. It was an old, old term for horse. There's a lot of names. Wow. For Cause you can't just call them horse. Why not? Cause you ain't gonna get no. They're not gonna be horse. <laughs> you, <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. I mean, well, they're still human they beings. Hate, hate they're still human hate. beings. You still gotta fucking talk to them, right? Yeah, like they're people. Like you still can't bring the one nigga with you on the on the play that's gonna like start arguing with her for no reason. Like you still he still can't come. Damn, I ain't know it was levels to this shit. You definitely got that nigga to act up and fuck everything up. Like, come on, bro, just <laughs> chill out. Bro. You scared the bitches? He will never come on the two man. Stop scaring. Stop scaring. <laughs> you the bitches, can never bro. come on the two man mission with me, buddy. No sir. <laughs> you know it's bad when they be like, "That's your friend." <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Like, you hang with him all the time? <laughs> and it's like back. a nigga you hang with every day. You like, yeah, no, no, that's my dog. Like, because you ain't going to, you ain't, you know, down. T- I mean, some niggas will. But, yeah. hang with, like, no, nah, that's my dog. He, he might just be having an off night. Nah. Even MJ had an off night. Yeah. But I'm never calling you for the play again, fam. Never. <laughs> never. never. You blew it. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's get into these motherfucking tis What are you talking about? Um, yeah, I want to get to... uh. Diddy in the publishing or uh, Drake and the nigga spending his furniture money and getting 50 bands? Wait, what happened with Wait, Drake? Wait, what? All right, we'll get into that. So, um, apparently, some nigga like, came to Drake's show with a sign. I think I got the footage, too. I'm going to pull it up while we... It's wild crazy. Yeah, apparently, some nigga came to Drake's show with a sign, and um, the sign was like he spent his furniture money to be at the show, and Drake like, gave the nigga 50 bands. It's on me. <laughs> Why would you? 
bring a sign to a show as a man. Let me get that gold cord. <laughs> That's all I want. Wait a minute. So he didn't pay his bills to see Drake? And then Drake paid Gave him 50000 The only thing I'm not paying my bills to see is some pussy. And it depends on what pussy. Yeah. Not just any. Not just any old pussy. Drake also giving that 50, man 50000 a too. Why would you give him $50,000 for some furniture? He definitely Bro. ain't got it. Listen. If bro put that sign up, that furniture came from if you had <laughs> Value City. <laughs> Not even. No, that was hand me down. No, if you number one, I came from the Grand Furniture Outlet. Like, if you had to, here. number one, if you had to do that, you that furniture won't that expensive. If if you oh, live in to, listen, to where you gotta sell it to, listen, because niggas who got it got it. So it's like I'm mm, saying, Drake. I'm about to bring even, me a sign to a concert. See if that shit work. Drake tickets aren't even that expensive though, are they? They can't be. They got to be I'm in the hundreds, sure. maybe. He maybe had to be somewhere up close. Maybe he's talking about his, his furniture payment. Right? Maybe that's maybe, just like maybe, 100, yeah, maybe. Even $100, still, $200. Even still, the finesse work. Yeah. I'm sure he made that sign for that reason. So For listen, some kind of like acknowledgement. And I'm going to go to a lot of concert and just hold up a sign and be like, let me eat that cat. <laughs> Security! <laughs> You's a fucking nut, nah. nigga. You know soon what? as she see the <laughs> soon as she see the sign, you know what's happening. I know, I'm Fifty thousand. I really do want to have a sign now. They're calling the people. I definitely need me a little sign. I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna say. You can't say no wild <laughs> shit because if it's too fucked up, they're gonna be like this. Bitch. Man, this is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Going viral and then they're you gonna left, fucking eat you alive. It's you left your kids life. at home by themselves. <laughs> 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 you don't even live in town. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> It's gonna be all bad. I left my kids in the car for this show. <laughs> uh, lock her up. <laughs> lock them the fuck yeah, up. You gone. You out of here. <laughs> lock them up. You are the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bitch, ain't nobody about to give you no babysitting money. Fuck no. Hell no. You're going to jail. Big jail. Hmm. Hell yeah. Hold on. All right. Let me pull up the footage real I quick. I want to see it. Unless he know the dude. And maybe this was just... Bro, if he, I know you and I got to sell my furniture to got that I'm saying, I'm saying maybe he put old dude in the crowd. Like, he know him. Maybe it's, you know... Like, oh, he's a plant. Yeah. That's the... There's nothing that's not gay about this situation. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> As a man. So he gave the, the person with the sign the money, but he didn't give the girls that threw the bras on stage nothing. Ah. Did you see that girl that threw it? Where, when he was like, whose bra is this? Yeah, I seen her. Did after. you see that girl? Yeah. She's not attractive. What that mean? <laughs> he should have threw the bra back. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you need these titties. Because the face that they are attached to are not attractive. This is sexual harassment. <laughs> I'm suing you, bitch. This is out of control. Yeah, she wasn't cute, but. That is sexual assault at that point. Oh, yeah, because you, well, you, know you, you, you threw something at me. You threw something at me. It came, a... came directly off your body. We we during COVID era, bitch. Like, you out of control. Listen, but she had. Listen, he should have put a little something on it because y'all don't have titties, but bras is expensive when you got some big titties. Them motherfuckers. Which is exactly titties. why she shouldn't have threw that shit. She know about it. He her. damn sure should have gave her some money. Here you go. Hold when on. did he give him the money? Like, right there on stage? You just promised it to him? Yeah, what? Should I guess so? I mean, regardless, I'm going to get my money because if you tell me <laughs> in front of me. Usually I give out a bag, right? Look, but you got a side. Let me see it. 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 Let me see your furniture money, I'm gonna give you 50 bands. Like, like. AKA, I'm fucking later. Yeah, we fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck all 50,000 of that about you. I, <laughs> wow, I wasn't even talking about that. But <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about us robbing the nigga after this show. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna catch him up and give him that 50 bands, bro. <laughs> He's gonna give him 50,000 50, worth of dick. That is crazy. <laughs> He's fucking at 50,000. Yeah, we're never gonna get that Drake interview. Never. <laughs> we never get that Drake interview. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about jumping the nigga after the show. No, they took him backstage. That is crazy. Pam went straight in the dick. Like, that is crazy. 
I'm not giving up fifty thousand, bro. Your I know your furniture is not even worth fifty thousand at all. <laughs> it's not. I'd be like, I got ten bands for you. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I got five. How about your furniture? No. I got five. I got. I got a smooth five on it. Get that shit right now out of my pocket. I got five. You done made this nigga rest. Like, bro, you can get some. You can get some fly shit for five bands at Grand Furniture, right? Like, That's a fact, like, though. Not for real. You really could. You can get some. Fl- you get the whole living room oh, set. Shit. You good? <laughs> Fifty bands. Yeah, this nigga bought me a new house. Yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> this nigga house. changed my life. <laughs> know what I'm saying you get the ottoman, like they, <laughs> you get the ottoman that you was looking at. They, they and, go yeah. with the with and the, the end tables. All that shit. Yeah, yeah, what the end tables, fuck you mean? Bro. Come on, dog. These don't never get the end tables. Hell no, they don't. You get the whole set. When I say the set, I don't mean the three piece sectional. You could get the three piece sectional that connect. Yeah. Mm. To make one whole shit. Hey. That shit got fluffy pillows on Listen. it. And you get a bedroom set. And that Listen. shit like deep. So you can like <laughs> sit back and your legs don't touch the floor. It don't matter if you got them six six. Your legs That's still thing. <laughs> like that kind of couch to make you say, you know, I ain't, I ain't going to lay in the bed tonight. I'm 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 gonna kick it right here. You can roll over on the couch and all that shit. You know, without worrying about falling off. Yeah, you get some good shit. Mm-hmm. Fifty though? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Fifty bands is crazy. Mm-hmm. I know where he got it at. Like I, I don't even know if I want it. Like man, that's what I'm saying. It's not too many things I could see me giving somebody fifty bands for. I'm definitely gonna hold up for sure. A lot of us gonna say I sold my card. I'm telling here. you, I'm just sitting here thinking of clever ass signs that I'm gonna. That shit don't <laughs> work. She gonna call you a broke ass, dumb ass, broke ass nigga. <laughs> Like it doesn't work. <laughs> like nigga, you did what? I sold my car to get here. Can you ride my face? Like I don't understand. Like, she, <laughs> all she gonna tell you is she can't ride your face if mm. if, if uh you if ain't you got broke. no ride. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I mean, good for him now. I like to see people doing positive shit when they got too much money to spend on themselves. Yeah. And hopefully that man takes some money and give it to some of his friends too. Like That'll be nice. trigger that shit around. Uh, fifty bands ain't really enough to give out. I mean, you. I you think it is. I mean, it's free though. I, I mean, I guess it's a free fifty. Yeah. You can yeah. give him two grand at home. You boy. said friends. Sir. I mean, like three. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I can, yeah, friends. Sir. If I got a free fifty, like I can. I, I can split 50, ten. I would like yeah. If I can I split ten among my could, friends. Yeah. yeah, like come on, bro. Yeah, okay, that's that's cool because I still got thirty that y'all yeah like yeah. Know what I'm saying so. Um. So yeah, keep going. And let's see, thirty. You still got to get furniture. So that leaves you with, with a dub. Listen, I'm still thinking about it's an ex, some extra money that she wasn't expecting to get. You can get that shit out. You can definitely share. Facts. You can definitely share. I would share. This nigga order Uber Eats in the middle of the. Is that what he did? I don't know. A little sound effect thing. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just press one of them. Fuck around and mess something up. The whole fucking shit go dark. You. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? This nigga said, Mike, he said it's Drake at the door. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, pop. <laughs> I'm done. He probably has that kind of money. Too. He definitely sent somebody. <laughs> it was Drake's lawyer at the door. <laughs> <laughs> You think he sent the people letters? Yeah, that's what somebody said on Pam's live. <laughs> said, Drake's attorney popped up immediately. <laughs> Cease and desist. Y'all gotta shut this shit down right now. Cease and desist. That's wild. Like y'all niggas show ain't big enough for me to sue. Mm. So we <laughs> just shut it down. Turn this shit off. Yo, we just bought the building. Y'all niggas. <laughs> y'all gotta y'all got ten days to get the that's fuck out of here. That is crazy. That's some petty shit I would do to a nigga if I had the money. Like oh, if that. I was rich, though. I ain't gonna front. I see why fifty don't give a fuck. Cause you rich enough to like, nigga, whatever, whatever problem you want with me, I can make that shit worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna buy you. Like, dog, this nigga spent like, like eighty bands. Well, it won't that much. That nigga spent a lot of thousands of dollars to just buy the whole a like a lot of thousands of dollars. A lot of thousands of dollars to buy like the first eight rows of Jaru concert, so nobody will be there. Like that's. Like, you know how much so you gotta hate a nigga petty. to start spending money to ruin that nigga life? Yep, I'm that petty. I'm that tight. But, but technically, the money went to Ja Rule, though. Damn. So it it really, don't matter. I don't give a fuck. He making that money. That was like though. one of his biggest shows, the though. The first like, eight oh. rows of your shows are sold out. 
That's real And there's only 10 rows. <laughs> like, what you going to do? That's so dirty. That shit sound like an echo when you start rapping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Uh, what do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? That's terrible. I guess not. <laughs> I heard they bring back Fire Festival. Yeah. yeah, they are. Ain't nobody going to Y'all this going? Shit. I was about to ask. <laughs> nah, they, they Y'all they going? Not. I'm going to put together a package. No, I'm, I'm not going. Nice little belong in the sandwiches and shit. No, thank you. You put together a package, you better start that shit under a separate company because your ass is good. <laughs> yep, you going right the fuck they down. They suing the shit out of you with them. I actually heard the five. They may be sold out already. Wait, Yo, you know some. Talking. You know people some are, people gonna, gonna be get, in attendance to that. Nobody's you know some people that. gonna get tickets just because, because of the bullshit the first time. So even if like the bullshit happened again, like, like some, hoping to get some money back from it, nah. the lawsuit. Yo, people will spend money j- f- for some wild shit. Wait, I'm so confused. I'm looking I'm, at these niggas' website. They sold. They sell the tickets in like grouping. So they sold the first hundred tickets, and that <laughs> sold out. <laughs> I they, mean, that's, they haven't released tickets one hundred through five hundred yet. That's actually smart though, only because it's like <clears throat> you you want to make sure that people actually want to come. But who's supposed so to be there? So the first hundred sell out, then you open it up to like five hundred more. That's what it's doing. But how, who's, however who's supposed fast to be that there? shit sell out, Do they say who's who's gonna be there? No. Nobody, because this shit is like, fucking. It's, even, it's just a festival. Fuck that! I wouldn't go to that. I bet you the fuck Jaru not gonna be there. <laughs> I bet that nigga not <laughs> gonna not put going. his name back on that. I'm not going to that. Not at all. Mm-mm. I might go to the next one. Mm-mm. If this one, I. But then there might be a setup. They might they mm-hmm. might put a good one together Listen, so they can get you then again. Then they had them people in sleeping in tents and eating bologna sandwiches. Like, yeah. ain't no, no fucking way. They had them sleeping on them. Remember them cots that the Olympic niggas were sleeping on? Yo, <laughs> them were the worst. Them shits were terrible. <laughs> were the worst. I didn't realize they did Olympians like that. Now, I would have rather caught COVID at a hotel than sleep on them fucking cots that they was giving them niggas. Ain't no fucking way. Somebody got to get shot, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm a world fucking class athlete. You have Now, you shoot fuck. a nigga at the Olympics. I, what jail you going to? They going to take turns. All of them. They going to take turns with me. We're going to put you in all of them. They going to take turns just sending your ass. You going to be a whole jump off. You going to be world the, tour. the jail jump off. Ain't that no is way. crazy. Because they going to be, they going to send you the very worst jail in the motherfucking world. But I mean, if you go in there, what if you go to like the hardest prisons and you like knock niggas out in at least like three of them? By the time you get to the fourth end, they might be like, you know what? Somebody gonna kill you. <laughs> not fighting this nigga. Think he tough? Oh Dead. y'all loud? Kyle, or, uh, <laughs> Jason said y'all loud. We loud. And, sh- and shout out to Uncle Big Gerald. <laughs> I mean, we we. <laughs> uh, Jason said y'all loud. Oh, that's cool. We recording those. I don't give a fuck about your ears right now. It's supposed to be loud, bitch. <laughs> as long as I, <laughs> as long as my mic say we not peeking, nigga. I don't care how loud we are. Turn your fucking volume on your phone down. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> Simple solution. Mm. Nobody told it, told you to put us through your car's Bluetooth, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that should be hell loud. That should be loud as a bitch. You can bitch. hear that shit outside you the car. You hear the whole fucking conversation. <laughs> Yo, Yo I, I be at the light and I be hearing, I be thinking somebody yelling through my window. I look over and it's a motherfucking hat. Listen, that shit ain't good. I'm nosy. I turn my shit down. Me too. <laughs> I turn, I turn, I turn my music down. definitely want to know what y'all talking yes. about. Yes. And don't let a motherfucker be It'd be real. wild because, like, be loud. you be listening to whatever. You turn it down, you just turn it, and she was sucking dick. <laughs> Where? I was all confused. <laughs> Caught a sucking dick behind a dumpster. You like what the who caught who? Who? <laughs> hey, still beat, there? Hey, look, I beat the horn. Roll the window down. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know him. Hey, roll the window down. That's who? crazy. Who's sucking dick behind the dumpster? <laughs> hey, pull over to the Seven Eleven, bro. <laughs> yeah. Pull over, I'm about to hop in the passenger seat. I need to. I need. I need to know where the fuck the rest of the story go. Crazy. I need to know where the rest of the story go. Let's do shot o'clock. Cause fuck it. God <laughs> damn it. That is not the. I done pressed everything that I'm not supposed this to press. Unrecorded the whole session. Speaking of these shots, I need you to know. My sister said, Pam, I do need you to know this nigga Kyle is a real bartender. Damn. I said, what you mean? She said, he is a real bartender. That's debatable. She was bragging <coughs> about whatever drink you made her last Thursday. <laughs> she said, that nigga is a bartender. She was like, nah, he, he get busy. So y'all need to go check Kyle out tonight. Anytime my man is at Phoenix or anytime he bartending, please go check him out. I do be bartending this shit sometimes. Because she said this nigga gets off. She was like, Pam, I, I thought. She was like, but no. Nah. So I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot o'clock. If you got your motherfucking liquor, if you got your wine, if you got your bottle of beer, if you got... 
Whatever the fuck the case is, if you don't drink liquor and you got your water, you got your juice, we condone anything except for Hawaiian punch and butt naked milk. You can definitely drink butt naked milk. You cannot I'm, drink butt I'm naked milk. Hawaiian punch next milk time. I'm bringing Hawaiian punch. Milk. I'm bringing butt naked milk. I'm bringing Hawaiian punch. Milk next is an ingredient, not a beverage. It is a beverage. It's an ingredient. It's a beverage. Yeah. It's an ingredient. It's an milk ingredient with some cookies to be strong, healthy bones. Yeah, it's an it, it, it's a fucking beverage to calf babies. But well, with some cookies, it'd be good. That shit do be slapping. Oh my god, the cookies is warm too. Warm my cookies. Yeah, I be cold, I be cold, cold I definitely milk. I definitely be milking in warm cookies. Shots up! Shots up! Shots up! Milking in warm cookies yep. is crazy. I don't be coming in women. It's dangerous. But it, being twinkly, there's no other way to danger. be other than to be twinkly. <laughs> yeah, it feels great, but I got a, I got a real good dismount time. You know I do what? too, but I just don't care. But that's the thing. Like I feel like I'm not fucking like I don't want it unless I can be turned into a twinkly. I know I'm mad for them. Yeah. You on birth control? Yeah. Oh well, then yeah, you can mm-hmm. always be turned into yeah. yeah. Stop. Kids gonna go in. That's a different ballgame. If she's not on, if she's on birth control, they going yeah. in, but they not coming. The out, wild shit is, if you on birth control, I'm not even gonna give you that like that normal sex one. That oh, I'm about to come. No, nah, I'm just, I'm just nothing. Like it's just. Oh no, I'm gonna tell you, just because women like to hear that shit. Jason, adult humans do drink breast milk. You ain't see that my strange addiction that just came out. That lady so breastfeed her husband. <laughs> oh, she shit, breastfeed bro, her. This woman breastfeeds her husband every single day. So men, grown men do drink. I asked him about breast that. Breast milk. I, I called Jason and asked him about that shit. Would you uh would you suck your wife's titties to save her life? Have you guys never tried breast milk? No. Well, my son wasn't breastfed, so I didn't get the uh opportunity. It's very it's my like, son was breastfed, but his baby mama got little titties. <laughs> I mean the size doesn't matter. You sucked it before the goddamn yeah, you're right. b- before the birth. You're right, but I just I, I felt like the extra titty was for him. Like I didn't want to take away from his milk. Like it was his milk. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's um I sucked the titty now, my son thirsty. That's fucked like, up. It actually doesn't taste bad at all. It's like real, it's like sweet. It's good. And it's good for so many things. But, but you know really the you know the bad. shit that's so crazy. How motherfuckers is sitting here saying that they wouldn't drink human milk, but y'all the niggas, but niggas are niggas drink cow milk, milk straight out of the cow, <laughs> straight out of the fucking cow. Because <laughs> that's normal. Goat nigga. milk. They drink goat milk. It's normal. It's not nigga. It, it is normal. It's not normal. You eat the cow too. That's not normal. I mean, because they're not putting their mouth on like a cow nipple, so it, they would if they had. How you think the first nigga that figured out what the fuck milk was? How I think milk that nigga was made. accidentally hit a little squirt. You know how you. You know, in his milk. mouth. No, I think he, he squirted that shit I in think his he mouth. Probably was like, "Let me taste this. Let shit. me suck this cow's fucking." I guess my question is, what was he doing touching the cow like that? Like, <laughs> you know, that seemed real I'm personal. Like, we the nigga it. probably seen the baby. No, because back then cows oh, was yeah. wild. Like it ain't. He like... probably just seen a, a baby cow drinking off the shit. Like, damn, this nigga cow. Oh, this oh nigga yeah, baby. I'm gonna go. What do you say? I'm gonna go suck that too. He Maybe he's like, trying to say the baby nah, cow. This what happened. The calf. I'm telling y'all, this what happened. They seen the baby cow eating or whatever out the milk. And the cow wasn't eating shit else. The baby cow. Just that milk. And he's like, damn, the cow getting kind of big. All he eating is his milk. I'm about to see what that shit be That like. nigga was eating Boom. grass, too. <laughs> <laughs> baby cows, they eat food. They don't just drink milk. Well, cows don't eat food. They just eat grass. That's what I'm saying. Like, baby like, cows. Most don't, they just, the, like, they, don't they just drink milk? That's the craziest shit. Like, most of, like, the strongest animals. Yeah, they really just eat a lot of fucking. But they eat a lot of that shit. This nigga, yeah. Adrian. I'm going to get that niggas shit a slick next time opportunity arises. All them yeah. niggas. That's crazy. All them niggas do is <laughs> eat God, grass and so shit. Real. You got to drink breast milk. You got to try it once. You got to try it. It's actually good. And them niggas get straight. Like, you look at a gorilla. You look at a rhino. You look at all them animals that all they eat is grass. Elephants, yeah. like they the biggest, strongest animals. But if a human do that, nigga, you would be frail as a motherfucker. Right. Like, yeah, because you need <laughs> breast milk. You don't need breast milk. You just need <laughs> other shit. Yeah. The and, doctors tell you you need milk. Yeah. But you don't necessarily because, need. But that's the thing. Like meat. breast milk lacks vitamin D. Yeah. So when you breastfeed, you still have to give your baby that vitamin supplement. So it ain't like yeah. you just. But a lot of straight. there's also a lot of like. I, I hate that they, I we do, really have a whole I, discussion on yeah, milk. Why we not, are. nigga? It's educational. People like to hear shit when people know about shit. So, yes, we are. You want me to mute you? You don't want to be in this? Nigga, don't none of us really know about milk. <laughs> I do. So I still drink that shit. I ain't lactose, so it don't bother me. Most milk is actually bleached. If you actually see the milk that comes straight out of a cow, that shit is like, that shit looks like that. It ain't it's not white. Yet. It's not white at all. It ain't bother me yet. I'm going to drink yeah. this shit. I mean, it is. Cause I put it in my cereal. Your body's, your body's used to it. It's like muscle memory. Yeah. But yeah, so I forgot. I lost my train of thought fucking with oh, this nigga. <laughs> and I think that was his whole fucking purpose of, of, of interjecting like he did. But nah, um, but no, so that's the thing. So like, you don't necessarily need like meat itself. Because people are like, 
people always associate protein with just meat. Yeah. But it's mad other shit that got 10 times more protein than meat got. Semen. That's crazy. <laughs> I will be the friendliest nigga on the planet if that's the only way that you can get what? protein, fam. Like, like wait, what? The fuck yeah, yeah. Like, I was so taken back. I was kind of like, oh. <laughs> the fuck was that about? Well, no, me. but but no, nah, like, um, I wonder if eating ass has protein in it. Probably. Not. I don't even think anybody's ever done that study. I don't think there's any nutritional value in eating ass. There's probably more protein in Oreos than it is ass. <laughs> Maybe not, not as satisfying. <laughs> it's not as much sugar, though. <laughs> Depending on whose ass you eat. <laughs> Sweet ass. <laughs> He's a fucking nut, nigga. Oh my God. So that means... If you eating sweet ass, that means you eating, like, cougar ass. Because the only cougars are saying something, come get this sweet ass, baby. <laughs> Old bitches know what they want. They better, y'all better stop Come playing. on, get these sweet ass, baby. They know what they want. They definitely that's what, what they that's want. paying when she older. Baby, you better come on, get this shit. I've already, I've already planned my shit. Like, when I'm in the old folks' home, they're going to be like, Miss, Miss Pam ain't got no diaper on again. I'm going to be, be saying, pussy out. You're going to be fucking young niggas too, ain't you? Listen, I feel like I'm going to be a bad old junk. My so grandma's confused. bad, so it's okay. You're going to be fucking, you started this shit. You're going to be fucking young niggas. You know, spread that ass a little bit. Throw this diaper off. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this diaper right off. Now I ain't gonna right front. Here. If I go fuck a cougar and she pull a diaper off, I, I, I might have to slide. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. There's nothing I can do here. You can't even control your bowels, bitch. I can't do but, nothing no, with be, you. It's just a pee. Listen, but listen, it's gonna be a dry diaper. I'm make sure I'm straight. But no, because I'm, I'm not about to off. sit there wondering if you pissed on me. If I'm yeah, yeah on me. like you ain't got you listen. ain't got pussy control no more. Where you? I'm gonna be that old lady that's definitely as soon as I know it's like a little young dude in there working. I'm gonna be butt ass naked. I'm be like, she ain't here. She ain't got no clothes on. You can come on in. <laughs> nipples out. They're gonna be down in my kneecaps. Yo, that's you crazy if you in there the nipples out with a fucking diaper. He's gonna call the security <laughs> guard. Calling. He calling your nurse. That nigga's not I'm calling the psych ward. Yo, I'm not changing. I'm not changing this, Pam. I need somebody to come. Yeah, I'm calling the psych ward. She is crazy. This bitch is crazy. I'm not, I'm not changing Miss Pam. Somebody gotta come do this shit. I'm not fucking with it. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay. Like Pam's I'm going to be rich and I'm going to pay. Pam the, yeah, you no longer Pam the Piper. You are definitely Pam the Pervert. I'm just trying to say, I've already planned this out for my life. I'm Pam the Pervert is crazy. <laughs> Pam the Pervert. <laughs> Either that or I'm going to that uh, that old folks like community. I forgot where it is, but it's where all old. Naked? And they just be fucking all the time. Oh, it's in... um Wherever that is, I'm going. Atlanta. Everything's in Atlanta. Nah, it's, no, it's in Virginia. It's... um. You say it's where? It's white, white something. Hold on, I'm about to tell you. It's a whole hmm. motherfucking nudist. I don't know if they old people. It's not even nudists. They just be fucking all the time. It's just all these old people in the <coughs> retirement community. They just do it all day, every day. You just go to hedonism and do that. Yeah, but not when I'm old. Why the Actually, fuck not? I was about to say, why I the fuck? They definitely that. got old people in hedonism. You think them Jamaican niggas not fucking want... you never seen how Stella got your groove back? Yeah, but he was gay. And he, like, you know, he didn't want that. That was a front. Is that really what happened in that movie? Not in the movie, but in real life. Y'all know. Tay Diggs? Te- no, <laughs> that's Tay Diggs. And yeah, but, and the, like, but the movie. How you just gonna put? How no, you just gonna put but that the person. I always was a little suspect of the no, niggas. No, the person that, that the movie was based off of. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the actual people that the movie was based off of. That nigga's actually gay. Like he left her for a nigga. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. He was actually. Gay. I didn't know that shit was a biography. I thought no, it was it's just... real. No, it's, this is based on. Like, I honestly true. thought that shit was just a movie, fam. I didn't know that shit was a. Yeah. Uh, it was real. I did not know that shit was a, yeah, it's actually uh, real. a fucking biography. That's crazy. Yeah. But no, like, listen, like, I'm either gonna be like, I already know I'm just gonna be old, and that's where I'm gonna be. This is where I want to be with the old freaks. Curvy pants. And I don't want no old balls like right now. So that's what I want to go there now. I want to wait till we all old. My hey, shit what do you old, mean my old, old balls? Just because my balls hang down a little bit. No, I mean old. like old. Like we all, like that shit got gray hairs on it. Like, I mean, I can't shit. help that my balls dropped. I'm a motherfucking man. And my balls ain't got no hairs <laughs> on them. Shout out to Manscaped. If y'all want to <laughs> give us a sponsorship, we will definitely. Your ad could be here. Like, boom, boom. This could have been a whole Manscaped ad right now. We the. Put the motherfucker right there. I'm gonna go extreme though. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna make a Pornhub video for y'all of me shaving my balls. You know, That's somebody crazy. might actually be into that. I know. I'm People gonna be your manager. manager. I'm gonna manage it's it. It's going to my OnlyFans. I'll That's be your crazy. manager. My OnlyFans, I'm having me. My first video on my OnlyFans is gonna be me washing my beard. 
Women like a good beard. We we do like a good beard. <laughs> like an ASMR video? I think when we picture beards, we just pictured like like being on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, see, I was at work today, From so I ain't, get to, clean, I ain't like get to throw my oil and shit, shit in there. So my shit be shiny. Like when I'm at work, I mean, I be getting a lot of... So what is that in your beard? I can't... I'll tell you off camera what I use. Is it vagina? <laughs> at work, nah. I actually just bought a new Listen, detangler. you sure you ain't beard. ran into with the work you do? You ain't never ran into anybody like, oh, you can come on inside, like on some porn type shit. Hold on, which way are you meaning that? Before I say yes, <laughs> like I mean, like, like you gotta come inside and come inside, like, <laughs> like come inside and come inside. You like, gotta come inside. Has anybody ever inside. like any like lady? Ever I mean, I get like inside? older. I get like old women that got them. You are so handsome, and I look at it and I'm like, bitch, no, I'm not. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not. You might have some fire under that thing. For me to want to get to the fire, I got to want to get to the fire. <laughs> or at least look at you and be like, mm, all right, I, 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 I hit it. Hmm. But, yeah, you can't just be all the way wrong and then I just be like, that pussy might be good. Do I got a girl the back of your neck? I ain't going to front, though. In high school, you could fuck ugly girls because that's ugly girls. They still you, do that to this day. Ugly girls was to usually the only day. ones that was fucking. To this day, they still fuck. A lot. A lot. I mean, they all got babies, so. Somebody mm-hmm. nothing in them. No, they had like three kids before senior year. That's like, the wildest <laughs> shit. Y'all niggas don't even fuck me, Y'all niggas is nothing in them. Because like, it's good. Some niggas don't got that dick control. They get up in that pussy and that shit just like that. And that motherfucker. You got to mm-hmm. let it go. Uh, I ain't going to front. Every nigga has been in some pussy where you trying to get out of it. And the bitch, the pussy like. Mm-mm, oh, yeah. no. Nah. Because we know it's coming. That shit grab you. That's like, it. Not, like this. No, there was definitely this one girl. Yeah, no, I get It'd it. Be like that. And I was young. I was like 20, 21, but that thing was out yeah. of control every time. Like it wasn't a time that I got it and it was like, oh yeah, I'm about to run this thing. I got it and it was like, God damn this it, shit about to get me up out of here again. <laughs> I think we know, like we know when to flex. I prepared the for this. You know, you know when you want to flex the muscle. You try to get in there in different positions. Like maybe it's the, maybe it's the way I hit her last. I don't matter. Does not matter. You get your three you, pulling yo, outer in the world. You oh know God. it. You cut know down. that pussy cut fire. Down. You know that. Who pussy said that? Adrian. This nigga say? Adrian said, "Nah, I'm top three puller outer in the world." But you talking about breast milk right now, nigga? Something ain't adding up. This nigga said he gonna drink the breast <laughs> That's milk. That's what I'm saying. You got a kid, so something ain't adding up right now. But yeah, uh, is that AD Adrian? No, oh, Adrian. Adrian. Oh, gotcha, right? Adrian. I would expect some wild awesome shit like that from AD though. But nah, damn. What was we saying? I had a point. I had a point I was about to make. Your memory is terrible. It don't. Oh, so it helped me, nigga. We doing content. We need, what, what was we just saying? You just said a lot. <laughs> I know we were talking about pulling out ugly girls. I I never forgot now. Talking about Adrian and shit. Well, yeah, that nigga said <laughs> puller outer in the world. That's I lost. Crazy. I lost my trade of thought. I'm definitely not a top three puller oh, outer no. in the world. I got it. I remember now. You know the pussy fire when she make you bust fast in your least favorite position. I don't What's have it? a least favorite What is position. the least favorite position? Whatever it is. I'm just because I'm sure you have a fa- I'm, I'm sure it's tears to that shit. Huh. I never really think Even about if that. you even if you like them all, you don't like them all equally. Like you rank them shits like That's a fact. I mean That is true. Even mm. if like even if you got two me. even if you got two all right, I like boom. them all, but it just So listen, even if you got two favorites, there's a one A and a one B. That means the one B is a l- just a little bit less than the one A. I mean, I think missionaries. I think is it just depends on the people. But, like, yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Crazy. Yeah. Missionaries, everything. Missionaries is my favorite, okay. and it's because you can do so many different. No, see, I guess I'm a, I'm a whole hypocrite because I kind of want A and one B. It's either missionary or when she land on her stomach, like flat on her stomach. Yeah, the flat. The, that shit the probably gonna get me the fuck up out of here though. The flat on mm. my stomach is hands down my like my number one. Flat on her stomach gonna get me the fuck up out of here. Back shots is okay, but they don't last that long. Depending on how you're so, doing them, because there's many ways you can do back shots on the chair. She you said just, they don't last. They don't last that long, so it really you be like, all right, about to get oh, him yeah, up out I, of here. I mean, that just about to get that him up just, out of here real that quick. That just depends. <clears throat> but um, it's different. It's different levels of back. But shot. I feel like people. Because you got the but missionary though. You really. So not what's your mission- favorite? What's your favorite back shot position? Um, standing up is crazy. Over the couch. I would over say the, over the couch is fire. Shower back shots is ass. And is reverse is considered back shot? No. Reverse cowgirl? Yeah. No, nah, that's, that's It kind of is, though. That's right. I mean, it kind of is, but it, it is, 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 but it's, it's its own lane. But on a technicality, is that's more riding than anything. That's more her riding than... I really don't have a favorite back shot set. Like... Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. That's, what, really we, that's, think. What, that's what we're doing next week. We ranking. We're going to rank positions. 
One through five. I mean, the missionaries like the, at the top, and then everything else. Missionaries definitely. Yo, because the number with missionary, yo, because with missionary, here's the thing. I'm gonna. Well, roll. If you don't fuck with them you like can that, do. It you can do ten times more positions <clears throat> in missionary than any other position. I'm gonna roll into all the positions anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Yeah. Like, I think if you ain't fucking with them like that, like, like being a missionary, like, it ain't even. When girls be like, I can spin around and keep the dick still inside. Like, bitch, I can change the nine different positions and not take the dick out. That's a fact. Wow, that's a talent. That's a fact. That's a talent. That shit gonna look like a Olympic wrestling meet. That's exactly what that shit. Look like. <laughs> that shit. But we gonna, you gonna be wondering how the, how the fuck did we get here? <laughs> but we gonna make that that's motherfucker wild. work though. And I'm gonna put you in a chokehold. <laughs> Yo, no, that's the that's the not fire one shit. of those fake like grab. Yeah. I'm gonna put you in a wrestling like. Yeah, no, that's the no, that's the fire shit. When when she land on her stomach and you throw the motherfucking chokehold on cl- her and you cobra. gun it, bitch, you gonna take this? I think there's still people that are like afraid of that choke stroke though. It don't matter. I don't know. Yeah, it's I'm not gonna ask. You, I'm gonna help you conquer your fear. You'll be over it real fucking quick. <laughs> I'm gonna help you conquer real your fear. Real fucking quick. Because I'm not about to ask. Can I choke you? I'm just gonna do it. You should. Yes. You're gonna. You're gonna do that. I said I feel like it. Well, what like puts you in the mood for that? Is it dependent on the person? No, I just woke up. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <It's> Thursday. <laughs> I didn't even feel like that 20 minutes ago, and I, now I was like, oh, that, that nigga just ass tonight. Oh, uh, feel like I think, eat some ass. I think Sakila be doing that. Sakila make people nasty. So, it, it I, have a, I have a, um, I have a conclusion I came to. Okay. So, yes, tequila is definitely the nasty drink, but I feel like rum, yes. I feel like rum is. Rum is sexy. It's, rum, I think sexy. rum is way more, no, if you look at the, all they do is fuck. Rum is sexy. And all they drink in the Caribbean like, is rum. Rum is like sexy, but tequila's like demon time type shit. Yeah. Every woman I know that drink. Tequila rum, is what them niggas in Mexico be drinking. That's why they be killing Man, every fucking last body. Last time I drank some rum, I was like on some lovey type shit. Like uh, rum rum make you wanna just fuck and dance, even if you can't dance. <laughs> no. That's like, what tequila does for me though. No, like, because you gotta think so me, all of like the prominent Caribbean countries, all they do is fuck down there in the Caribbean anyway. Yeah. You think of all the prominent Caribbean companies, co- companies. Well, them shit says companies too, but countries. It's all rum. It definitely is all rum. Jamaican rum, Give Dominican rum, Puerto Rican rum. How do I put this camera around? All that shit oh, is just all rum. There we go. There you go. You live in too? Nah, why not? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Fuck it. Let's get to it. I'm about to just go live too. Everybody hey, going on. live. We should just start doing it. Cause y'all can't see us live. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. That's what that's why mm-hmm. y'all going live. Y'all miss y'all miss the live shit. I do miss the live. We can go live whenever the fuck we want. People are gonna tune in, whether they tune in or not. That's Come what I'm saying. We so we can we can right we can just do a live on a random fucking whatever day of the week. Yeah. I'm saying when we record, just do live too. And if they catch yeah. it, they catch it. If they, they don't, yeah, that's you catch the that. replay. Yeah. On Patreon. <laughs> on Patreon. <laughs> Five dollars is not too much for niggas. Y'all was y'all was sending us that on the lives anyway. But you know what? Like I think every like woman I've known that like actually likes to drink tequila has told me they've had that night where they took all their clothes off. Like whether it's outside, because I've done that drinking tequila, or it, it happens. Tequila make you take your clothes off. Tequila made me take just my got butt off. ass naked. Just tequila. fresh off the tequila, just got butt ass naked. Yes. Tequila made me do that shit, and I was only eating pussy. <laughs> you know yeah, you are when you get butt naked deep pussy. <laughs> 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 Tequila make you do some You know you shit. are when you get butt naked just to eat some pussy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy as hell. I'm that eating I'm crazy. eating pussy in whatever whatever conditions that I'm in. I usually take my shirt off. And oh I tuck, yeah, no. Nah, I, I, I tuck it in I my d- wife eater like a dinner napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb, dumb, shit like that. Shit like that. Now I ain't gonna front. I got there. Louis, what up? Louis, what up? <laughs> K, what up? K, what up? Nah, so I'm, I'm definitely. Uh, oh my god. Sometimes you definitely got to take your shirt off to eat pussy because you gonna soak th- th- this little collar part. What are y'all doing? Like, you know when the baby teething, how all this shit just be wet. That's what that shit gonna look like no if you way. eating it right, for sure. That's crazy. You say it's crazy because nigga ain't, ain't got damn putting it's it on. It's been a while. There, right? I'm chilling. <laughs> No, come on, wine definitely make you feel sexy <laughs> as fuck. But if you you making love drinking some wine, you ain't really you ain't it ain't no no fucking when it No nah, on on rum, you definitely fucking crazy. Yeah, but wine wine definitely do something to you, but it's gonna be some different type of sex. Drinking wine. No, like you said, that's why all them islands in the Caribbean and shit, they got rum. Yeah, all it yo, all, of, all had, of the Caribbean had islands is rum. Wine, K said, hey, baby. Have I ever had sex drinking wine? Do that shit. It's different. K said, hey, baby. Hey. Not that I can just actively recall, Hi. like, just completely wine drunk. 
Y'all fucking ain't you? I no. Know. Y'all fucking. Lord, that's just random. You hit her too, Pam? You be no, fucking, I did not. You be fucking everybody, yo. Cut it out. Cut hey, it look. Out. If you got a girl, Pam fucked her. That's not <laughs> true. That is wild crazy. That is crazy, right? Pam that's the Piper. True. Pam the Piper Perv. And it's wild because you can't perv. even throw you can't even throw salt on Pam name because it's just like oh, I'm they just still gonna wanna find out. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's not true. I would never They're like she be fucking all the bitches, but she ain't fuck me yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. I swear that's not true. That's wild, not true. Crazy. So <laughs> She said, I already saw Kyle this week. So what does that mean? Because we talking about fucking Pam. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Whoa, 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 guys. Whoa. whoa I, I read it. I read it to her at the store. <laughs> at the no, store. I was, just, I, was, I was about to say, that is wild I'm crazy. I'm just bullshitting. <laughs> I read it to her at the store. Thank you. I am definitely an angel. <laughs> that's a motherfucking lie. I am definitely an angel. I don't know nah. who on your live thinks you're an angel, but that's a motherfucking I'm an angel? lie. She just told me to go to hell. Who told you? That? Yes, you should. Yes, you definitely, definitely should. Go to, that is wild. Kay, I love you. You know it. You need to bring your ass back up here. Yes. Together, collectively. But yeah. <laughs> where's the other? Where's my other phone? I don't know. What else is it? Um, Tequila Hennessy. The um, cognac in general. You know what? The, the is, fuck liquors. You know what? But vodka. All of them. It don't for even whatever matter. reason, you, you know never what? hear I'm anybody to, say nothing about vodka. I'm about to go vodka. to Facebook. I'm not drinking vodka to have like. I'm going to ain't nobody drinking, vodka. drinking no goddamn vodka. Vodka don't drinking. make you. Vodka make you violent. That shit don't make. It does make sex. you violent. Yeah, nah. Vodka don't make me want to fuck. I think it's like an angry like Russian person inside of every bottle. Any other liquor though. Any other liquor. Lala, what's up? Yeah, nah. Hey. So, you know, I'm I'm here with the family. Yo, yo, yo. We outside. We outside for a little so bit. So, nah, um, nah, so yeah, that's the thing. So, I think it's, it's between rum and tequila. Hennessy is only like, that's yeah. the hood. That's the hood fuck liquor. I don't like how it tastes anymore. I remember at one time. Hennessy definitely ta it tastes like they, hood sex. They been, <laughs> <laughs> so that shit tastes want, like. They, want they, they mass want producing that shit. I don't want now, Henny so. Dick. No, that shit I don't want like Henny Project Dick. I'm good. Sex. It's, it just. The shit that's wild, though, is how everybody be, um, I know sexy Ray tastes like Hennessy. That's that's what I believe. I believe she you. probably fucked like she drank Hennessy too. Exactly. Though. It's hood <laughs> sex. I know, I know she fucked like thing. she drank. That should be real aggressive between both of y'all, but it don't even really be good. You think it's good because y'all both drunk. Yeah, and then when you hit her sober, you like, ah. Uh, hey, I'm, Randy. I'm never fucking. I love you. <laughs> never fucking her again. Yeah, yeah. So, where the fuck is my other phone so I can get this document? Is it behind the your laptop? trap phone? It's not no. My trap phone. It's not behind the laptop. It's on the on the computer. I guess I'll pull one more oh, shot. Oh, shit. Outside, right in my right face, man. yo. That's how mm. shit be watching. Mm. But yeah, nah, rum. Rum, though. Rum make you want to eat pussy. Oh, dang, you rum pussy. definitely make you oh, want to fuck. Oh, sorry, guys. I mean, we could have cashed out you, bro. You could have got a bigger bottle. Than I mean, I didn't think we were going to be here that long. I didn't realize we were all drinking. Nah, we not. So, yeah. No, I got to work tomorrow. So, nah, let's. But yeah, rum definitely make you want to eat pussy. Rum definitely make you want to fuck crazy. And rum make you want to leave it in. I think tequila make you want to leave it in. Tequila just make you, te you having sex makes me want to leave it. I ain't got to be drunk. <laughs> I just always want to leave it in. That's a fact. I'm just I'm gonna leave it in. That's how I get myself to that shoot off point. I tell myself in my mind that I'm about to leave it in, and then right before I come, I just pull out real quick. It's like, <laughs> man, no, nah, I mean, but you know, yeah, I don't. <laughs> That's it. Not, yeah, I don't. I don't. Not, I don't pull out. I'm not. I'm not pulling out no more. Too old for that shit. Grow the fuck up. That is crazy. I do not have <laughs> I'm a vasectomy. I'm just not doing it. I do not have a vasectomy. Hey, look, that's how that means say you want to be grown and have sex. Be grown. Leave it in. Being grown yeah. involves a great pullout time. Nah, you got to leave it in. You're not yeah. an adult unless you leave it in. Mm, I'll do that you're one. not an adult. Once I get a vasectomy. Yeah, that's crazy. That is You know wild the wild shit is when you leave it in and then ask them if they on birth control after I don't, you done already I don't done it in up. I'm a Toys R Us kid, bro. You can leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't if you ask her, if you ask her if she on birth control after you nutted in already. It, it, Shay, it right. is toxic. That's that's your man, Shay. <laughs> your I don't think I really toxic. I ain't really crazy. never felt like that of no rum. What? You ain't like you don't drink rum like that, though. I know, but when I did, I drank, like... Bacardi. That shit don't count. No, that's like, like that. I've drank that's that. Like what is it, Bamboo? I drank that. And that shit made me on some lovey-dovey type shit. I think I... Yeah, and then that, that shit we drank here that night, also on some lovey-dovey type shit. Matter of fact, I think we were drinking Bamboo on the show the night I had my... That's See? That's crazy. crazy. I mean, but yeah, so... Y'all hear that. So if you want to have I a I think baby. I was drinking tequila tonight. I could see my son. 
I knew tonight. We was arguing her, was, at her holiday what? party. With Jordan, I was. It was one of the two. I wasn't old enough to drink it sure. with the twins. It was just. I bet you really can't do that. I bet you I can. Man. What was it that you was told that you couldn't do? I'm not gonna say that. Um. Uh-uh. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it was. I think it was one of those. Hum- Unless day it's que- too crazy. No, it wasn't. It, it was just it one of those hum- day questions about like squirting or whatever. And nigga was like, "You never did that in my face." Oh, so his <laughs> so his plan worked. And I was like, yes, I can. And he was like, I bet "Fellas, you can. send him DMs." <laughs> DMs. No, don't do that. When they, when they post the nasty motherfucking memes in their inbox, you see it work. <laughs> she had two twins off an, off a of meme. And he was like, "You can't do that." And I was like, "Yes, I can." And then. Yeah, I ain't gonna front though. Remember, like telling jo- joints, I bet you can't do it on a dick. You know what men still say? That shit actually that work. Shit. Y'all, wow. No, nah, but you know work. what works for y'all though? When that shit works for whatever reason. I know y'all think it's some bullshit, but this shit still works. When a nigga say like they ain't never came off no head, we see that shit as like I have it's it. a challenge. Like challenge accepted. Like we gonna go ahead. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. Like, I have no it. bullshit, ladies. I have never. It works. It's I rare because y'all gonna be putting in that kind of work. Y'all like yeah. to suck dick for 45 seconds. I ain't gonna front, though. After, after, like, maybe after, like, nah, a, a minute I'm, and some change, they start talking about their jaw hurt and shit. And, like, I'm no. like, right, two, three you know minutes. What? Don't worry it. about it. Been that over is not true. Like, three minutes. If, if you give a head, regardless of whether you're a man or woman, if you ain't sucking it, like, yo, eating it, like, I ain't gonna front. It, then don't do it. I ain't gonna front. Most don't joints, do it. Like, most joints start off, I say most, because you got those exceptions that's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, you do. They gonna, they gonna get it done. But most they doing it because they like it. For the first, like, 145, they start crazy. You like, oh yeah, this shit about to be it. And then after like two minutes, you can change, see it start to slow start up. Getting lazy. You can tell you it's like, like oh, right. what's going on? And they're like, oh my jaw hurt. They, like, ah, you know it, what? But I don't need to ask me. At that point, you know it's just time to get up and have sex. <laughs> they like, not, they don't like it because if you want it, why would you rush? You yeah, you know what? Time? Yo, just get on the bed before I lose this shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Get on the bed before I lose my shit. Because you about to fuck. You about to fuck this whole shit up. Like, started off so strong. As your dick suck this week, and so does my dick. It's, just, <laughs> it's going down too. Like the weaker, the weaker her dick suck get, the weaker my feelings for this this session get. They gotta do it because they love it. The weaker my it's interest different. in this session. It's different. Get. If they do it because they love it, you ain't I rushing. Mean, what you're you rushing correct. for? What you rushing for? You gonna get it? No, I think the worst thing though, like top five worst things, and it's definitely not five, four, three, or two, <laughs> is when they love to suck dick, but it's still just not. Oh. It's just they just. Not, it's I just can't say I've ever experienced it. It's like, the, it's like so the nigga. That, it's like the nigga that goes to the basketball court every day and like he's still just. <laughs> that would be real. Hard. He's still just it. terrible. That's awful. Like, but you've been sucking dick since you was fourteen. You got there thirty-seven now. I was not fourteen. <laughs> I was sixteen. He wasn't talking about oh. you. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, it was, I, I was sixteen. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't that young. I wasn't that young. <laughs> so they ain't doing it for their enjoyment, so they're not gonna put the effort in. I and mean, even yeah. then, I I lost my voice. And it be what, yo, if you if she sucked my dick until she lose her voice, and I was sixteen, I might fuck around. When and, do you want to move in? Yeah, <laughs> like we don't gotta split no bills. I pay the rent. I just need you here. <laughs> oh, no, we split this I one. just need you here. We ain't gotta split no bills, nothing. I just need you here. If she sucked dick to her voice gone. Cause that shit ain't got nothing to do with each other. That you know of. I mean, you're right. But yeah, if she sucked dick to her vocal boxes, is 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 horse. I might, I might like that one tear. You definitely got to put a ring on it. <laughs> that one, that one Denzel Washington uh, glory tear. It's a thug tear. <laughs> a thug tear. It's a thug tear. I'm gonna fuck around and kiss her forehead. Like but you. <laughs> got whispered. I love you. <laughs> that is terrible. I'm singing all kind of OJ songs. And shit. Don't you ever think oh, about leaving? No. That is crazy. Because <laughs> we was made for each other. <laughs> yeah, when you want to move? Man. That is crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, nah, let's, let's jump back, man. Let's get into these topics real quick. Let's goddamn get this shit rocking. Um, so then he gave his public uh, his publishing back to all of his former artists. Is it all of them or so like few? I guess the ones that matter. Oh, okay. Did the band like, get there? I see Mark Curry like I see Mark Curry like wilding saying he want money, but it's like, bro, like I remember you on like maybe one song. Not saying Why he probably he on? Won't, not saying I didn't even uh, know who that was. Bad Boy for Life. I'm sure oh. there's some sort of back. No, I'm I'm sure, and I I ain't trying to carry you, 
know what I'm saying? I'm sure he probably got a lot of like writing credits and shit. But I'm not like, talking about Mark. I'm talking about as a, as a writer though, you don't like that's not your publishing unless it's just, your publishing on paper. Diddy didn't just get these niggas back all their publishing. Nah, I don't so care what? I don't think what so. It, it's nah, some I think so. It's number one, Diddy got an album about to come out, so that's definitely part of that album rollout. I love album, right? Yeah, and I'm sure he's keeping some sort of back end of that publishing. Like, I mean, I'm sure I gave y'all eighty percent of your publishing back. You own yeah, most. Well, I mean, even you, did he might have been like, nigga, I gave y'all fifty five percent, so you own most. Nah, of he get, he gave them a hundred percent. He gave them their publishing back. But the thing was, I think it was more of a like his back was against the wall kind of situation because mm. it's like, because you know, right now everybody's selling their publishing. Like Irv Gotti just sold yeah, Murder Inc. Yeah, he was selling like, it. Yeah, he just sold Murder oh, Inc. Wow, for like six hundred million or something like that. So. Um, so the nigga back won't get the wall because if I can sell my catalog, no, but what I'm saying, his back against the wall right. because all right, so he got the album about to drop. He's Diddy, so you know he like a lot of his shit goes off of how people view him. Um, but if you sell your publishing, you sell all these artists publishing, yeah, and you get two, three hundred million dollars, and you already Diddy, you a fucking billionaire, like it's gonna look crazy. So I, I think in his mind it was like, uh, if he if he were to sell it. It probably would have looked crazy to the public. You know what I'm saying? So it was actually a better chess move to give them their shit I mean, back. I get it. I Either that it. or niggas. <laughs> niggas' corners just ain't. Niggas, the blue, I mean, the blue tops on niggas' corners just ain't hitting like this. Like the, the problem with, with like him niggas, selling his niggas, publisher, he could have sold the publisher, but he's not going to include Biggie's publishing in that shit. No, he gave he gave Biggie's uh, a publishing to his estate, which is, I guess, his mom, his daughter, whoever. Oh, so. that's wild crazy, because he yeah, definitely nah. sold that shit for a billion dollars. He, he definitely gave Biggie's publishing to uh, Biggie's estate. So, that's uh, fine. Like, like, that's, really, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I didn't really look into it. I just saw the headline. So. Yeah, um, yeah, so he gave... Um, Matter of fact, I'm about to pull it. I'm about to pull it up so I can make sure everything is. It said publishing worth nothing now. That's why he gave it back. But I mean, people still paying millions of dollars for these catalogs. Nah, it's no way Briggy's publishing is worth nothing. It should be. I can't say that, can I? No. So, <laughs> so <laughs> not nothing. He gave. Uh... I forgot. Yeah. This is a black people. We're not allowed to disrespect Biggie. Yeah, he gave everybody their shit. Uh, Faith Evans, of course, the estate to B.I.G. He gave 112 their shit. Um, and Mace. That's wild crazy, because that could have easily, if if Irv Gotti sold Murder, Inc. for 600 Yeah, that's easily a billion-dollar publishing catalog. Yeah. I don't know if I like niggas that much, or people like, or my yeah. age. Like Loon, Shine, like all them niggas got their publishing back. That's, I, that's good, though. But that's, but you got to think, so, like, that's just good business. And did he probably made? <laughs> I mean, he's definitely made the money <laughs> twice <laughs> over. <laughs> so, like, technically, he probably that's like, what he, uh, he threw them niggas scraps. Like, here, I'm done making money off of this shit. Y'all sell this shit. Y'all get it. But that's good. And now, like, I mean, you also don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Like him selling, him giving them they publishing might have opened up something on his end where he don't. There's that's what I'm saying. There's something that benefits Diddy in this. He didn't just do it out of the kindness of his, of his heart. Nigga. Yeah, because he a kind nigga, but he not, he's that, not that kind, kind of a nigga. Like, <laughs> like nobody. Why would you sure. be? And he's rich, but he's not, you know, what's the nigga that on him? Jeff Bezos rich. Yeah. But ain't nobody Jeff Bezos rich except Jeff Bezos. Exactly. <laughs> so Jeff Bezos <laughs> can afford to give all the publishing He's the only back. nigga that's Jeff Bezos rich. But, um. Bill Gates pretty rich. and He just be chilling. Who? Bill Gates. Gates. I respect him just because of the way he built his empire. And he just, like, <laughs> took off into the shadows. Like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Just collect my checks every year. That's it. Yo, speaking of money and collecting checks and all that good shit, so Beyonce. Sis, what up? Um, Beyonce just passed uh, Madonna for the highest grossing tour. That should have been for a woman. Tour? Uh, Madonna, Listen, like you got to think Madonna. The shit Beyonce is doing with this tour is outrageous, bro. Yeah, but that just I ain't gonna front though. I mean, it's Beyonce. I know, I know, we got them when. <laughs> Do you know she she paid? To have the DC Metro line open late, I seen that, so that everybody that can dope. get to her show. Because it was like delayed, right? Because of the rain. No, it was you know it nah, closed so at it, a certain time. Yeah, it went open, so she oh, okay. she paid the city money to the city like five hundred grand to keep the keep, shit running, keep the metro running all night, mm -hmm. so these people can get to the show and then get back to wherever the fuck they gotta go. That's dope. Yeah, that's crazy. So now, nah, um, so Madonna shit, the Sweet and Sticky tour. Uh, brought in a revenue of four hundred and eleven million dollars. When was this? Uh, between two thousand eight and twenty twenty three. So, hey Brent, that's I mean, 
even still, like, it don't no, matter. No, I'm saying that's when the Madonna like, tour was 2008. It, it would be even crazier if it was back in the day. That's like, what I was asking. Yeah, yeah like, that's what I was asking. 411, like, in the 80s, with like, that's or like, the 90s. That's like, bill, like, like a billion dollars now, yeah. if not mm-hmm. more. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Beyonce surpassed that shit, so. What this tour is right now? That's wild. The highest grossing tour but for a woman. But some people I know that went to that shit like two and three times. Oh, yeah. In multiple yeah. cities. Yeah. Just to see if it was a different experience. And they was like, yo, it was, it wasn't, but it was. I yeah. seen somebody no, say Beyonce was working on her birthday at night. And she, that's why she'll always be better than me. Uh, <laughs> and the crazy well, shit, though. I'm working on my birthday. You take the night shift on your birthday? Hmm. The night shift. I mean, <laughs> but if I'm working on my birthday, if I'm getting like millions of dollars to do it. Yeah. I'm not going to oh, yeah. like the the day job that I currently work right now. I'm not doing that on my birthday. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, I barely want to do that shit on a, on a everyday. That's basis. what I said. Like that shit is day. it's different when you getting millions to work for your birthday and you got fucking Diana Ross to come personally saying happy birthday to you on stage and you for your birthday and you got to go and you might have some cupcakes that you don't even like. Oh, it was rain. It was rain logistics at the FedEx field. So. I thought it was- Oh yeah, so it was delayed. Yeah, it was rain. It was delayed, See? and then but she still paid. That was still dope. Five hundred thousand. I mean, not that she noticed that shit in her motherfucking account, but not that I'm be pocket watching. Talk about that her account. She didn't notice that shit missing from that night. Right, yeah. that's a fact. Yeah, I only pocket watch rich people. I don't even pocket watch them because I don't have time to keep up with it. It's Hell too much no. money. Not on keep purpose. Alone, I be trying. Not on purpose, but like certain people, you can't. You don't even got a pocket watch to pocket watch. Yeah. Like, B, Ho, Diddy. Like, you just know they that just, they, yeah, they, they put it out there. <laughs> like, it's just certain people that they you just don't. Got money. You don't pocket watch on purpose. You just know that that shit there. I've been wanting to live life like Ross. That nigga got rich and just be having fun doing whatever the fuck you want to do. At least that's the way it appears on Instagram. Of course, no, you yeah. still work. But I want to have so much fun with my shit that I'm I'm still out there in the motherfucking riding lawnmower cutting my own grass. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of. That nigga got a lot of acres. He be on the shit cutting that shit. He said that shit take him three days. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I could do that shit though. You give me an umbrella on the ride. Is Taylor Swift doing better summit? than Beyonce? You said what? Never in Taylor life. Swift. She hasn't. Uh, you bugging? I mean, yeah, I can't say never. They in haven't. Life. They <laughs> haven't released her. Let me um, let me live Black Power. League. God damn, you never. No, fuck the, her though. She yeah, can't. Exactly. She can't, can't fuck play. with Beyonce. I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's Taylor Swift. But her following, I don't give a fuck who it is. I know Taylor Swift is Taylor Swift, but. Uh, if if if, all right. If if they both was on the concert, who's opening and who's not? Who's Taylor, opening Taylor and who? Taylor Swift would definitely open. Exactly. Yeah. She's not fucking. Who? How the fuck you gonna follow Beyonce? That's a fact. That's how I gauge that shit. Fuck who tour make more. I'm sure Taylor Swift shit probably make more because it's apparently not because Beyonce just broke the record. Yeah. Taylor Swift hasn't released her shit yet. That's but and that, everybody was saying that shit. And I hope I hope when Taylor Swift released that shit that it don't. I know. Because we're not going to take the record from one prominent white woman and then give it right back to a different one. Why does Taylor Swift have such a big-ass following? Because it's Taylor Swift. No, oh, because she... Yeah. Cancel culture. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell you off. I'll tell you off camera. I'll tell you off camera. She wanted to know. Bec- you know what? I'll, 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 I'll paint the picture for you. Like she gets in and out of relationships so she can sing about them. But in, in the midst of her so getting in... So she's Mary J. Blige? So in an, in the midst of her getting in and out of a relationship, she just takes dick. Yeah. Oh well, Mary J. Blige did do that. She was just one bad ass relationship for a long time. That's it. No, she gets in and out of them. Like yeah. each album was a different relationship, and she got like, what, like, fired, like, huh? like ten so albums. She, so she's Keisha Cole. Nah, cause Keisha Cole shit is about one. So well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, I was supposed to do this one because the camera right there. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just said that shit. Say that shit with your chest, nigga. What the fuck? Nah. But yeah, um, shit, what else we got? Um, Nick Bosa, highest paid non quarterback in the motherfucking Shout NFL. Shout out to the NFL coming back tonight. Highest. Oh, yeah. I definitely, I'm, you Football know what I'm happiest start. about? So I'm, I'm definitely going to clap it up for Nick Bosa getting that money. Football season started about 171 30 million. Minutes. I'm actually yeah. about to get off this live because, as y'all know, I got to gamble yeah. and I got to put in a couple bets for this game. 171 million, uh, 122.5 guaranteed for five years. Um, but the the the, and, the the shit that's the best though is what he just said. I get to make parlays again. <laughs> no, this last couple months, the only parlays I could make was on like baseball. Are you bugging? I Does that it. mean a bet? I mean soccer too. I made is a that what fucking that means? killing during the U.S. Open. That's 
That's what it been. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean tennis. I miss, I missed a lot of U.S. Yeah. Open shit. That's I, I right. fucked that up. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. I fucked that up. I missed a lot of U.S. Open bets. I missed a lot of U.S. Open bets for sure. I gave some of the money back. So, but I made a fucking killing on the U.S. Open. I gave it yeah. back on baseball. But. Hmm. Shout out to Coco. Shout out to Coco. She's a fucking. She actually monster. played. Coco plays in about. She's a fucking about monster. About thirty minutes too. So shout out to Coco Golf. Young black girl. She'll be the next <laughs> Serena. Definitely. See, this is what I don't know anything about. What's yeah, right? I don't That's know what, what a parlay is. That's I don't what I'm know telling. anything about sports, okay? I'm not that girl. Coco Golf is a, is a black <laughs> tennis player. She's I like, I know who she is. Oh, I've seen oh, the, oh, I've okay, seen stop the comments. <laughs> no, I was talking on here. I said, not, <laughs> may not, not know what a parlay is. Yeah, I don't know oh, what it is. Okay. That's why I'd ask. Yeah, no, you get. The chances of hitting them are a lot harder. Uh, some niggas get like, and I'm never one of them niggas, but some niggas get like 50 bands off of a fucking 10 cent parlay. I'd be sick. I actually, I, you know, I gamble. I almost watched a guy turn fifty dollars into a million dollars the other day. That was he was one strike off in a baseball, like a million one. Dollars. And he missed it though. He missed it. He missed it by one strike. <sighs> Me and that picture with that. Is, is that who he you missed. think is gonna win? I'd have been waiting so, out of, outside the stadium for that. He put picture, in like fam. a bunch of bets of like it was baseball bets, so he put in a bunch of bets of how many pitches were gonna have, how many strikeouts that game. Yeah, and he just elevated like all of what the bet was. So, yeah, it almost turned fifty dollars oh. into a million dollars. Like I seen a lot of people who dumbed their shit down from what his was. Yeah, and they was turning five dollars into twenty five hundred. Gonna play this. So, that shit crazy. Even I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, let's let's speed through this um, yeah. real quick. So, what do you think that means for the rest of the nine quarterbacks in the league? Like, let's just fuck the game up. Because everybody's not Nick Bosa though. So Here, it, here's the problem though: Nick Bosa's not the best defensive he, lineman in the league. It don't matter. He just won that. So That's right, so, right now, so according the to the NFL, he is. No, according, according to, to the, the NFL. No, according to the San Francisco 49ers, he is. No, I mean that too. That's but no, he just, won, he just won Defensive Player of the Year last year. He won that. He got that. Aaron Donald won it twice, so he was. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but Aaron Donald got his money, and then like the next year, them niggas went like seven and <laughs> them niggas went like seven and ten. <laughs> but nah, so Nick Bosa just like so. I don't think winning defensive. So he remember it was it was the big debate between him and Michael Parsons, and he ended up getting it over Michael Parsons. So which is crazy. I'm talking about, it, but you have to look at it when you come to paying salary. You got to look at, it at their respective positions. Yeah. So is he the best defensive lineman? They named him defensive player of the year, and not to take anything away from his year last yeah. year. Chris Jones should be in that conversation. So now you got to look at it like Chris Jones, who has better sack numbers, who has higher pressure rate throughout the entire. And not to take it again. I'm not taking it away from I, you. Ain't got to. We, we speaking facts. We speaking so, facts. Go ahead. So now Chris, who's looking for a contract, they offered him three years, seventy four million. He can't take that because it's twenty five million dollars. And I know my numbers statistically yeah. are better. But than how him. old is he? He's a little older. So that's he you might, know he in the in the NFL. But I put up the same numbers last year. The crazy but, thing is, the fucked up thing is, unless you like, it's a whip only whip. certain niggas in the NFL that's old Shut still up. get paid I ain't seen forever. Um, that's because you popped up out of nowhere, Stephanie. You ain't telling why you was fucking yeah. coming. Only certain yeah. niggas, only certain niggas that's old still get paid in the NFL. But chat like Ocho Cinco pretty much broke that shit down. Like when you get to a certain age, no matter how much you produce, they try to get you, they try to push you off the team because they don't want to pay you. They rather pay the young fresh, the yeah, young which fresh makes body. Sense. I mean, it makes sense, but so um, I don't know what any of that means. No. Teams hit the cap quicker. Yeah, so and my Cowboys can't do what they like, need to do. It's the all the Cowboys. It's like um, so I don't know. I think thirty four million was excessive. Don't get me wrong; he's a great player. It's a lot of money. If they got it, they got it. If it's in the cap, it's not excessive. It's just because if he didn't get it, somebody else was going to anyway. So now, like if it was if it was Michael Parsons up or somebody or uh, somebody like that, then it probably would have been a little more. It might have been thirty five million a year. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. What you telling me is that man is better than Aaron Donald? He's not better. Oh. That's the situation. Wow. <laughs> it was under the... <laughs> Just the color I said it was, though. Boy, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, fuck you. But, yeah, nah. Um, so, I mean, better is subjective. But Aaron Donald has also had a longer career, so we won't know if he's better until after Nick Bosa's career is over. Like, if you're looking at the numbers from, like... Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. From where Aaron Donald yeah, started yeah, his rookie year to Nick Bosa's rookie year, like, this nigga... Nick Bosa's rookie year, he damn near broke this fucking sack record. Nick Bosa got to stay on the field. That too. That was my only thing that I was scared that they was going to pay him or not. Mm-hmm. Got to stay on the field. So, 
But now I That's think a deeper football conversation we'll have though. Yeah, yeah. we'll have that shit next Without time. Because matter of fact, next time remind me. I think I want to ask because uh, I've been wanting to ask. Do you think that they should raise the salary cap? Because it's not like they don't have it. Not too much. Because then, because then you can just start signing whoever. Take the, the salary. Fuck, yeah. yeah, take the salary cap off. Oh, fuck that shit. No, if they took the salary cap, listen, bitch. I don't give a fuck. If your team got the money, why the fuck? If, if they got the money, why the fuck put a cap on that shit? Listen, tell your team to get their money. I'm gonna tell you this: if they took the salary cap off, niggas like the Browns and like them all, out back. all them small market teams, but they teams, already out back any fucking way. Yeah, what's money? I mean, they try. We 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 them comments ain't we like we we're, we're shooting. Uh, so it at, we'll, the money we'll line break. is who's gonna win the game straight up doesn't matter. Yeah, the so spread not, is who's um, gonna win the game by a certain amount of points. Gotcha. We're shooting though. <laughs> I mean, we, we can explain to the people. I can explain that. They don't know. Too? They fucking st- I mean, it's not. <laughs> it was a question by the people. But no, I ain't even hear the question. I was just fucking. No, it was like it was, it was a. What's the difference? She asked what the money mm-hmm. line and what a spread was. Oh, yeah, he just explained it. You saw me about to explain it though, right? Yeah, 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 he just explained it though. Gotcha. But I, no, so for a second I thought money shot and then spread and <laughs> mine was somewhere else. And, if uh, she spread, I might not give her a money shot because I'm not pulling out. Um, God, he's the worst. But no, so so. <laughs> How many kids do you have right now? That don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> one though, but one, but that don't matter. <clears throat> okay. But no, so like I feel like if they remove the salary cap, though, like about the family if they remove the salary cap, I think the motherfucking NFL will go haywire. Yeah, well, you can't do that because Dallas Cowboys just have way too much money, and they would still be trash. Dog, Jerry Jones has more money than like most people. Half of the other money. owners yeah, like combined. Combined, yeah, like, like, yeah, you can't do that. Dog, you remove the salary cap, you can buy out niggas' contract. You can literally get every one of the best players at every position that you want. You will pay for it. And he will. Because, number one, so as much as I hate him, as much as I talk shit, they the biggest team money-wise. Like, they got the biggest fan base. I think Steelers is number two. Mm-hmm. Um, They got the biggest fan base. Steelers number two. Like, so that money comes in. Mm. When you win championships, it definitely do. They getting merch sales. They getting ticket sales. Even if they not getting it from their own fans, niggas is going to Cowboy Stadium to watch whoever their team is play. I know people who have been Cowboy fans who have never sniffed Dallas. Yeah. Damn. Oh, and the crazy thing, like last time 49ers played Dallas, I ain't like mad at that though. We gave them niggas money. Like it was I don't think it was more, but I think it was like 50 50 on like 49ers. I'm not you. I went to the 49ers Dallas fans and Dallas fans I in the stands. Hate, I fucking hate the Cowboys, and I just heard their stadium was so amazing that I was in Dallas, and I was like, yeah, let me go see if this shit looks Yeah. Like. I definitely wore my Eagles jersey. I'm not here to support. I'm, I'm here to just watch football and yeah. say I've been here at least once. But nah, so I, I think that'd be dope. All right. Well, let's, what, else what else we got? But yeah, fuck all that. Uh, what we got for final thoughts? You want to start? You got anything. it. I don't even have. I can't even think of that. Just give us one. We just go out of here on the same. We go out of here on the same final thought. We um, just ride the wave. It's hot outside, and not just here in Virginia. So I'm just gonna say, stay hydrated. <laughs> people been no bullshit. Because niggas have, is thirsty. No, but people have been dying because it's been hot. Yeah, heat stroke right. is real. Yeah, that shit that's is real. That's real. So stay hydrated. But no, nah, I mean, of course, we about to get a break. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say summers. I mean, uh, fall is it coming. It should already started though. No, no, fall. First day of fall start, yeah. Yeah, but around this time, it's still a little cool. Is it September or October that fall starts? It's in October, I believe. It's every three the... months. It's like right before Halloween, right? But still, Summer around starts this in time, June, not September. It's still. Wasn't... It's September. So it's like the end of this month. Then fall Last starts. Last year, this and then... time, it was not this hot. Like you said, like you told you earlier, the they're trees. cutting down trees. They're cutting down all the trees. Like, and shit. I, you probably seen the same and picture. And I'm not that trying to get too fake woke, but I actually researched that shit. And it's, no, that's true. It's yeah. true yeah. I mean, that's I mean, they've been saying that shit since yeah. we were kids. Like, they can keep hydrated. cutting down trees. It's going to yeah. get hotter, global warming, and shit like that. They've been saying this shit. That's it. Stay hydrated. Stay uh-huh. hydrated and leave it in. The Cal- state of California <laughs> probably about to go into eventually, like they've been saying for years. That's it. Stay hydrated and leave it in. Dom That's yeah. bars, man. Yeah, yeah, stay hydrated and leave it in. You definitely should stay hydrated if you're going to leave it in. Yeah, and know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you're going to do that. Take drink your pineapple that juices and going. shit. Yeah, that's it. And then find somebody to put your trust in. I know one nigga you can put your trust in. And his name yep. is 